Oh, pff, okay, I just walked into the void. Uh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, what the? Again? So it's not a real jail? It's real, but stop, no spoilers. Fine. It's something about Rodrick. Bucket of ashes. Take the ring. Looks like the ring didn't melt in the crematorium fire. fire. Greg, I saw someone in the crematorium last night. Either a thief got in somehow, or one of the alchemist's immortality experiments worked. In any case, be careful. Greg is just like, I ain't showing up to work. Go fuck yourself. I don't get paid enough for this. Painter's filled with ashes. Painter filled with bullet casings. And this alchemist is surely armed to the teeth. What's up? You sensing something again? Yeah, whatever is up ahead is not pleasant. If you have anything you can use to heal yourself, I'd do it now. I'm healed. Got it. Old letter. All the stored jewels and food shall be given to Victoria of Roman, daughter of Esmond III. After no more than three days, Alchemy Master Alexander of Bar, but you can't get a grip. The the lip between the lid and the chest is too small. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll take some more coins. probably didn't bother to write a description of what they mean. That's kind of funny. Um. So why is there just a door here?
you not be so finicky, please? Maybe I could, uh, something from it? I need that key. Like, I know he said not to bother with the key, but... Definitely feel like I need that key. Progress has been months. okay. Get the cleaning supplies. Okay. Uh, so let me go back down to the workbench, see if I can. So I'm gonna shut my door. Hey, ain't nobody's business what I'm doing in here, but mine. Prison, I haven't um checked. Oh, robot parts and an apple. Okay, no. Check that. Oh, is the 
guy that was eating through everything. Brian Little, Gigantus One, Proportional Growth, The Kingdom of Tutorial, Military Use, Volume Mass, Production, 120 potions every six months? No wonder this guy freaking died. Pull the cable, strange. through there. The dark descent all over again. I'm just wandering, trying to figure out what the f to do. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get that key. Ashes. Either that, or I have to find more tools to. Was I able to use ink there? I slid down to the boiler room, okay, so that didn't. In front of you, laying in the grate again. Taking it should be no problem. I even need this key. It opens the front door, which is the only way up. So, you need it. Grab the key! You wrap your burnt fingers through the glove. Only there was someone who could tell you if the key had cooled down yet. There must have been cooled off by now. There's no way it held the heat this long. <sighs> Ask. Fine! Could you please read what it says in the book? Of course, I'd be glad to. You roll your eyes. Here it is. The key isn't hot. You should be able to pick it up just fine. Great. As soon as your fingers close around the key, a wild howling echoes from the depths of the jail. Your hand shakes, and the key, as of waiting for the opportunity, falls out of your grasp and down through the grate. Who's that? It's better you don't know. I feel like it's better I do know. Can <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm assuming it's down here. He 
he's laying on the st solid stone floor. There's no grate for it to fall through this time. Something feels off. From here on, I trust no one. Not you with your little spoilers or anyone else. Pick up the key. You take a deep breath. Slowly, carefully, you pick the key up from the floor. You suddenly turn your head, looking all around you for signs of disturbance. The room is still and silent. You finally have the key. It's covered in ashes and quite cold to the touch. Well, you can never be too careful, right? And most importantly, we can open the main door now. Yeah, that's the most important. That's, that's the, uh, dried up plant. Give me that. Probably not useful for anything except maybe brewing some unpleasant tea. Well, you know. Jail key. An inmate's dream. The key to the jail door. Didn't have you if I wouldn't have used the freaking lockpick here. Take out the key you found. The key fits perfectly. About time. Barrel is labeled supplies and ingredients for Alexander Marta's lab. Excuse me, it's empty. No head. These barrels smell like oak and wine. Feel the wind blowing through the cracks between the bricks. Hammer it. Alexander of Martel, the royal, royal alchemist, has committed a brazen crime. The strudel brood, or the scoundrel, what the fuck? The scoundrel brewed the potion for the king that he promised to grant him immortality, but was in fact poison. I declare that the alchemist shall be beheaded, and his diabolical follicle lair shall be walled up. Advisor to the late King Esmond III. Listen, Mr. Advisor, it kind of worked. Alright. Passage is blocked. No, there's definitely a sign here. Assembly area. Are we making the singularity? Is this where... What the fuck is going on with this area? Take all the money that comes in, go to Rose t Rosentown, buy the finest carpets, and send them to Victoria, just like last time. A very odd area. Jail 
while you were playing around with the key. He's on page 84 now. Dang. We should probably hurry or there may not be any potion left for you to deliver. What? Is he planning to drink it? <laughs> you told me no spoilers. Alright. Files, flax, powders. Of alchemy ingredients. I need... scattered around it. Judging by the smell, the last person to use the cauldron was making highly corrosive acid. Let's mix something up! <laughs> the alchemy recipe. A guide to making acid! <laughs> corrosive acid. Green salt, blue sulfur, red lead. Order unknown. There are other bookmarks all throughout the book. Salt, sulfur, lead. Try to make acid. All the components, the rest should be easy. Going green, blue, red, right? Check the notes again. Um, lead before sulfur means you suffer. Okay. start with salt and never end with salt. Okay. Do. Stray drops of acid seem to have eaten away most of the page. <laughs> Jeez. So, lead before, before, before sulfur means you suffer. Need salt. the wall with caustic acid it's deep across the floor and there's definitely no way through. Chemical splattered laptops sits on the table. You know how to work this? I've come across them in books before. They're not complicated. The desk on bullet paper is the ancient portrait of a woman. Caption underneath it says Victoria Broman's daughter of Edmund III, Bremen Museum 1201. The only thing he has installed in his browser, that's it. What? Doesn't matter. There's only two tabs open. First tab. Roman burial sites, 12th century. He was looking for ancient burial sites, one to be exact, the grave of Victoria Roman. She must have been his lover. So that's why he went in such a hurry to go resurrect her. So I keep telling you we have to hurry. But I mean, I wouldn't really mind learn letting him reunite with his lover. I don't have time for that. Emails between him and his boss from a month ago. He was trying to convince them to give him a gun. He said it would make it easier to see whether or not the potion of immortality was working. For it was hard indeed spilling blood with a blade, a most trying and foul business. How practical of him! So they let him use a gun in his experiments? Since there is no way to exceed this laboratory, I imagine his bosses didn't see a problem with it. You mean there was no way to escape? Right? You look at the melted wall. Well, let's look at his search history. <laughs> mm, this is a search history. Online driver's ed classes. Plus a whole bunch of chemical names. To be fair, chemistry has made great strides over the last thousand years. There's salt anywhere? Me. It looks like no one slept in it, blocked by a metal beam. Alright.
try to make acid. All the components, the rest should be easy. So, never begin with salt. Never end with salt. So it has to be sulfur, salt, and then lead. Worked! You made acid! Nicely done. Yeah, thanks! There's nothing more to do for, for me to do here. Papers on your head slowly shiver and curl up. Well, oh, he is a book himself. I just noticed that. Well, if it worked for the alchemist, it'll work for us. Let's do it. Splash the contents of the flask over the door. Layer after layer of metal starts sloshing off and dripping onto the floor. Impressive. Now let's get out of here before we're swimming in an acid. Okay, but. I just hear gunshots? Yes, and they were close. Hurry. Research Institute hallway. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there for right now. And I will be back on later. Um, at 8 o'clock. At 8 p.m. I will be back on. So thank you everybody for being here. Let it see who we can go over to Oh, 
Oh, I know who we're going to. See you later for Back for Blood. Yes, sounds good. Hope you guys shave. Have a good day. I hope you do too. Thanks for relaxing my ears. You're welcome. I'm glad you guys think my voice is relaxing because I, I really don't. <laughs> okay, let me spell this correctly. watching so we're gonna go over to Mike Mike on I, I don't know the rest of his name but he's he's come over a couple times so we're gonna return the favor so he is playing little kitty big city I don't know exactly what that is but <laughs> Woo! I know all right, thank you guys. I'll see you at 8 p.m. See you guys. Have a good day. Hope you guys stay safe. And please, please, booty cats, yes. Please stay safe and have a good day. Thank you. Remember, you guys are amazing. You really are. He might not be able to let... I, oh, dear Lord. I got it. Give me a second here. ALH. If I can read him. I might not be able to read him. Oh, there we go. Okay. So thank you. <laughs>